Welcome back to Beyond the Bean On Air. The U.S. soybean farmers who volunteer their time on the United Soybean Board met last month for the Soybean Checkoff's annual meeting. The Soybean Checkoff Farmer Directors elected new leadership and evaluated models for the future of its international marketing program. The board examined other checkoff priorities. I think you have to look at acceptance of biotechnology. I think you have to. You have to look at sustainability. You know, I think I always say myself, nothing is sustainable if it's not profitable. But then you reach from there on down. Then you have to look at you know, how we're planting our crops, how we're doing it compared to the rest of the world. I think we're very sustainable, but we have to sell that to the world. Then if we're going to produce the 70% increase in total food production that the UN, basically the Food and Agriculture Organization, the UN, say we're going to have to produce in the next 40 years, we've got to have a way to move it. We have to have a transportation system. So I think you have to have transportation high on the list. That's newly elected USB Chairman Phil Bradshaw, who also raises hogs. The soybean checkoff increased support to the animal ag industry because it directly impacts local community growth and represents the biggest user of United States soybeans. Beyond the Bean On Air reporter Dave Russell now introduces us to one farmer who knows firsthand the bond between livestock and soy. You can tell by looking around Tim Bierman's kitchen that pigs and pork mean a lot to him and his wife Mary. But they aren't only for decoration. Pigs represent a way of life for this farm family. Tim Bierman serves as president of the Pork Checkoff and the National Pork Board and runs a wean to finish operation in Northwest Iowa. You want to be doing the right thing, raising your hogs with the best quality and management that you can. We're in the barns you know, every day uh, checking, making sure they got fresh water, fresh feed, uh, the temperature is correct, and uh, just making sure they're uh, comfortable. And the more comfortable they are, the, you know, the faster they grow, the more comfortable they are, the better the product that you'll have. That all comes down to doing the right thing and, and the animal welfare of the, of the pig. Bierman also grows soybeans on his farm, so he knows consumption by livestock and poultry drives soybean meal demand in the United States. In fact, animal agriculture uses more than 98% of all domestic soybean meal. Livestock and, and hogs are definitely a, a big part of uh, soybean farming. The soybeans, you know, are sold at the local elevator, but also is, uh, you know, sold and turned into soybean meal, which then is returned to us in feed, and, and we feed that high-quality soybean as a, as a meal back to the pigs for, uh, for a high-protein diet. To help its number one customer, the Soybean Checkoff has made supporting animal agriculture its top priority issue. With information, research, and helping to communicate facts, the Soybean Checkoff works to maintain and grow the U.S. animal ag industry. We're very uh, happy that they did that and very proud of the Soybean Board that uh, they're looking at the livestock as one of their number one customers and uh, number one issues out there to help uh, pork producers and livestock producers to, to stay in business. The bottom line? Success for animal ag producers equals success for U.S. soybean farmers. I'm Dave Russell, reporting for Beyond the Bean On Air. Up next on Beyond the Bean On Air, a first look at new tools that may help you increase production and profitability on your farm. But first, see if you can answer this question. <laughs> 